Um, it's right around 8.45 a.m. on Saturday, September 9th, and I just wrapped up my birthday week, spent it with my family most of the time. Um, some of the time I had to run around and take care of business and attend hearings and meetings and uh, more meetings, <clears throat> Zoom meetings and research studies and things like that. But my sister is nothing if not practical and also very uh Perceptive, and she always knows exactly what kind of gift to get for people. And this is one of the gifts that she very generously um, put in one of my birthday gift bags. And it is coffee milk from a farm share delivery service that she and her husband get their fresh fruits and vegetables from. And this stuff, I mean, I am just drinking it literally by the court. It's so delicious and it is the perfect thing to start your morning. I love coffee drinks anyway and you know Dunkin Donuts is usually my favorite given that they pretty much have the market covered for coffee. Starbucks is a little bit more expensive and their stuff isn't as strong. Um, So this I'm just addicted to this stuff and you can't get it in the stores. You have to order it from the farm share service. So I'm just recording the beauty of this bottle before it ends up becoming completely empty within a day or two because I can just drink the stuff all day. It's so delicious. And I would have to say if I do have any kind of an addiction, it would be coffee. Um, Tea is a little bit different. Uh, It's not really as you know, I don't know. It's just, tea's different. So no, I'm not addicted to tea. It's just the whole coffee thing that I really like. Um, especially when it starts getting cold out and you get the flavored coffees and you get the pumpkin spice. I'm not really addicted to anything else. Um, certainly not chocolate or candy. Those I can only have in small quantities before I start getting sick. So, and certainly not alcohol or any kind of narcotics because ugh, absolutely not like not in a million years. Alcohol is just gross. I don't understand people who drink it. I mean, in large quantities, I can understand like a cocktail because of course, I mean, who hasn't had a cocktail, right? Or a glass of wine, but drink Drinking alcohol in large quantities is just, why don't you go drink drain cleaner? I mean, it's the same thing. So anyway, but this is a another beautiful morning. It's Saturday, kind of quiet around here, and um, I have to get stuff done as usual. I can't just lie around, even though I did that for two weeks before my birthday. I pretty much just lay around in this place and sent a bunch of emails and made a bunch of phone calls every day, but I didn't really leave the building because there's a lot of creepy, crazy people out there that make me a little bit scared for my safety, especially since I tend to come home late at night and I don't see anything. I mean, I'm legally blind. People think that I'm making up stories about how I don't see. Um, No, I mean, I see shapes. I can certainly see that there's a bottle there. I can't see what's on the bottle and I can't see what's in the bottle. I can just tell that maybe it's a little bit orange or tan. And so there's a thing called being legally blind, meaning that you can't drive. Like your vision is so impaired that you're not legally permitted to drive or to operate machinery or to ride bicycles. So anyway, but back to the coffee, this is the most perfect gift that my sister could have gotten me for my birthday because it gets me going in the morning and it's the most delicious thing in the world. And it's way better than Dunkin' Donuts um, and certainly way better than Starbucks. So I'm going to have a little bit of this and get my day going and um, maybe see how I can get more of this stuff in the future.